Then we have this doctor, Vladimir Kilmister. <laughs> I hope he doesn't live up to his name. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Last time we managed to accomplish three stars in Hoxford, which means that we will be continuing to the next hospital, which is Lower Bullocks. But before we do that, there is a little exclamation mark here, which means that we accomplished some career goals. Also, it seems that we only need to cure three more patients in order to achieve this goal over here. Let's see, we watered a hundred plants and we get kudosh for that. How amazing. That's all for now, but um, it seems that we are very close to some of the goals over here. So um, we might actually achieve those in this episode. Let's see. And let's start lower bullocks. Welcome to lower bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this, obviously, psychiatry. <laughs> only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in a, a psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. Yes. So. We have unlocked the psychiatry room. Build an impressive psychiatry room, room to keep people happy. Um, yes, and it seems that we already have a room over here, a very large GP office with a little painting over there. Um, we have Raquel Radish, who is a junior janitor, can capture ghosts and who can upgrade machines. So that's pretty great. Um, also, she's tireless, so, so she doesn't need, need breaks um, so much, and she's hygienic. She looks like an amazing janitor. Then we have this doctor, Vladimir Kilmister. <laughs> I hope he doesn't live up to his name. Um, he is energized and happy. He has toilet rage. That's okay, though. When he um, has to use the toilet, he gets angry. <laughs> and he is our psychiatrist. And also, he has diagnostic skills, which is good for a psychiatrist. Because they also do diagnosis and, um, and also treatment. Then we have Elfish Galaxy. What a... <laughs> What a pretty name, Elvish Galaxy. Um, he's an entertainer, hygienic and a fast learner. So it seems that we have, and also he has customer service. Wait, is it is it a she, Elvish? Maybe it's a, maybe it's a woman, Elvish. <laughs> I was thinking about Elvis, uh, I think. But uh, I think this is a, I don't know. No, it's, 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 it's a guy, Elvish, it's a guy. <laughs> um, and he has customer service and he has emotional intelligence, which is great. All right, so um, it's and, and we have a little waiting area over here. So we need a psychiatry room. Mm, let's build one immediately and maybe over here. Um, and we could keep the little um, idea of this uh, oddly shaped room, we could do that over here. So we have a little nook here for our um, drinks machines and such. That is that is nice, I think. All right. All the way around. Well, maybe in the corner. Like so. And a chair. Now, I've seen a lot of people um, putting a chair in a way that it faces back from the patient instead of towards the patient. Uh, I know that uh, there is um, that this is a thing in certain countries, but in the Netherlands, as far as I know, at least, a psychiatrist always um, faces the patient not directly, but like in a ninety degree angle. So I'm I'm going to do it like that. It it looks more friendly to me, actually. Uh, let's give him a filing cabinet as well. There's two windows to the GP's office, actually. <laughs> uh, Let's keep them uh, open so they can look at each other. There we go. A bin. And um, in the last episode, I actually unlocked a few things um, while I was speeding up the video. So I'm not sure what you guys have seen already. I think I've unlocked the sweet dispenser, not on camera, and also some of the posters. Um, 
the coffee maker I think you saw, but um, that is at least also one of the items I unlocked. And um, that's the thing that I really like. Also the chair. Uh, yes, we can put it right there. Let's see, that's, that's, that's a really nice little nook over there and they can see through the window, <laughs> maybe uh, check, uh, check on their future patients, <laughs> observe a little bit, you know, like, um, I don't know why I put an eye test poster here, but <laughs> you, you never know, just to make the room a little, little nicer. Um, but you know, this, this makes me think about these, um, rooms in, uh, in a police department, you know, <laughs> where you can see through, uh, to the one side, but not to the other. <laughs> maybe maybe this is that kind of window. All right, um, we we could unlock one of the bookcases, actually. Uh, looks like my GP's office actually already has one. We have 300k. Mm, so we could, let's for now, unlock the diagnostic bookcase. That seems the most logical to unlock so early in the game. Okay. So we have a little bookcase over there, and uh, I think maybe one more plant. There we go. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Mm, well, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no, no more plants. Uh, <laughs> we will. Um, we we have to keep up with all the plants as well. So let's put a drinks machine in our little nook over here. Not reachable. Why? Oh, okay. Um, yes, and a salty snacks machine. There we go, right next to each other. Uh, there's already a bin over here, but let's put also one over here. There we go, I think we can go back to normal speed. Um, new technology. We've been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country. Uh, county. Sorry, They have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with... Well, it's best not to go into it. They want to send us psychiatry patients and in exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Until our organization acquires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. Cool. All right, let's build up the hospital a bit while we deal with some of the psychiatry patients from Bungle. Cool. Um, oh, right, we unlocked the news agent in the last episode. Um, oh, this could be a nice place for a news agent, perhaps. Um, hmm, okay, I will, I will do that a little bit later, I think. Or maybe right over here. Hmm, I will do that. Oh, no, I know. I know. <laughs> I think um, let's check this first patient in and then what are you are you falling asleep there's a patient standing in front of you oh, that's not good I thought we had such a good um, assistant but apparently <laughs> he falls asleep at the job um, wait I want to move things around a little bit let's let's move this out of the way and let's move this out of the way for now because <laughs> I'm sorry um, oh we could have them right next to each other or alternatively wait mm. maybe we can have I, I like putting things diagonally if you haven't noticed um, Yes, let's put this one over here, and then we can have the news agent right over there. With space to walk between. Okay, cool. That looks great. Um, now we can move on. <laughs> Go back to work. Now you can actually sign in the new patients. It looks like they all have... <laughs> um, they all think that they are a very particular rock star. <laughs> Um, yes. <laughs> so, okay, for this, we actually need to hire another assistant or, well, since it, it's not too, um, since it's not um, too busy in our hospital yet, maybe he can cover both of these, but this one needs to be operated by an assistant. For now, let's just uh, keep this one. Also, let's put the bin back somewhere more logical, maybe next to the news agent in case they, they want to 
uh, throw away their packages or something. We do need to hire another doctor, I think. Ooh, this one has treatment skills and diagnose, uh, diagnostic skills. Mm, that's a bit spread out, though. This one is focused on treatment as well. Um, okay, green fingers tires easily. Cast the first stone. <laughs> well then, <laughs> hangry. Motivated though. Hmm. Used to live in the pointy mountains. This is a very good doctor. Maybe I will hire you. Um, you go work there. And you actually go work there. Because you're our psychiatrist, right? So. Um, you know what? Let's change what they can do immediately. From the start. So we have the right doctors working in the right rooms. So this one, for now, can work... Um, well, okay, yeah, you can also work in a deluxe clinic uh, because you are also good at treating. This one, though, will be our psychiatry uh, psychiatrist only. There we go. Um, nurses. We don't have them, but we don't have rooms yet. We do... Ooh, okay. Are you, uh, are you okay over there? <laughs> hmm. Uh, apparently, this guy needs a psych... Uh, not a psychiatrist. <laughs> a pharmacy. So let's build him one. Right over here, I think. There we go. That's nice. New from Bungle. Uh, Pocket watches are a thing of the no, past. I want I want it diagonally, and of course. Okay. Bungle rocket watches fly around your head so you can always tell the time. <laughs> Buy a Bungle rocket watch today and watch time fly. <laughs> There we go. And uh, this one can also have a sweet dispenser, you know, um, for all those placebos they have to deal out. <laughs> um, I think I've watched too much house, <laughs> to be honest. But um, there we go. Um, some placebos right over there. And uh, do I already have an extinguisher? I do not. But it is important to have one. There we go. Maybe a poster? A food pyramid poster. There we go. Ooh, I forgot the chair. Um, let's have one right in this corner. Yes, nice. Um, I could make it prestige level three, but then I, I just have to put things in the room that I don't really want there. So, um, oh, I could. Oh no, I could not unlock this. This is too expensive. Um, a drinking fountain, though. Mm, if I unlock that, I can actually put those in the rooms and uh, make the doctors less thirsty. But there's also the coffee machine already, so maybe I will save up a little bit. Um, okay, I will pause the game because we also need a ward, apparently, and I don't don't want him to st uh, him her uh, this person <laughs> to storm out of our hospital. And uh, apparently <laughs> someone is throwing up in our bins again, so we might also need some toilets. Um, okay. I'm thinking about making a little nice waiting area over here, although I could also use this space maybe for another GP's office at some point. Would that fit? It would. It's not super pretty though, but it would fit. <laughs> Um, or I could just have the toilets right over there. Um, that's actually pretty nice, right? Having the toilets right near the entrance. Um, usually when I come into a new building, the first thing I need to use is the toilet. So <laughs> let's have the toilets. Just some tiny ones. We can actually have the super tiny ones like this. But um, no, I will make them bigger like this. Um, not, not that big though. Wait. Yes, like this. That's nice. We can have a small waiting area over here still. Um, a door. If I put the door right over here, then uh, I can actually have more benches in the waiting area. That uh, it, it looks a bit weird, perhaps, but <laughs> it's what I want. <laughs> All right. Let's see how I will put these. I think I will go for this design again, because then I can have a lot of cubicles and just a little tiny space. 
and just have one sink. Uh, I, I need to have the hand dryer over there by the window. That's not really something I like. Also, it's, it's not possible. Um, oh, this is nice. Yes, right next to the door. And maybe we can have a plant over here. Ooh, we could. That looks pretty okay, right? There we go. Okay, let's have some benches over here so the people waiting for the uh, pharmacy, um, they can actually sit down somewhere. Like so. Yes, that's nice. Mm, a plant, because it's not really attractive over here. Hmm. And maybe a plant near the door. It's a bit narrow over here now. Mm, okay, so maybe I will move the plant actually to this side. That's actually better. Okay, cool. Now we need a ward. So... Where shall we put it? Um, perhaps... Right over here. Or maybe we could make it a little bit bigger. Like so. Yeah, I think this is nice. Okay, we can have the door over here. And where shall we put the nurse station? Maybe over here. There we go. And uh, I want my nurse to have a locker. All right, the screens. Hmm. Maybe I will have two screens like this. And, um... Hmm. I like beds near the window. <laughs> I do not like beds right near the screen, though. We can have a coffee machine over there, perhaps. And just put the beds like this. And maybe we can squeeze one over here. We could. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit narrow. Wait. Hmm. Not a fan, to be honest. Maybe I will make it a little bit bigger, like so. And then we could have two more beds. Yeah, that's that's quite okay. Uh, the nurse, the nurse's locker is a bit weird over there. We will, um, we will replace it later. Let's see. First, let's have some wall monitors between the beds. There we go. And I wanted a coffee machine over here, and maybe also a sweet dispenser. Um, can we? We could. But a plant would be better, maybe, if we can squeeze one in. Yes. Hmm, let's see. We could have a plant right in the middle, but uh, that's a bit weird. We don't really have space for plants. We can, oh, we can put them right in the middle, like this. Uh, not over there, though. That's a bit weird. Maybe... Hmm. No, it's fine like this, I think. Uh, maybe... We could have the nurse a little bit more in the middle, not so much, but I want to change this locker right over here. Uh, over here, have a filing cabinet next to it, and then move the nurse over here. Great! This looks nice. Um, we don't have a bin yet, I think. We might need one. There we go. I wonder, do we need a fire extinguisher? Because uh, these are technically electrical appliances. <laughs> they don't count as a machine though. Okay, I will back, go back to normal speed and I will hire a nurse. Bungle Technologies have given us access to some of their latest technology. A pharmacy drug mixer upgrade and a general diagnosis easy scan machine upgrade. If we buy these for our machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure more patients. To upgrade a machine, we'll need a janitor with mechanics qualification. Uh, and we already have one. 
Select the machine and choose the upgrade option. A qualified janitor will then upgrade the machine over time. Give it a try and Bungo might have some more tech for us. Cool, upgrade a machine. So let's see, can we upgrade this one? Yes, to a drug mixer too. Improved and all new recipes. It, it gives us plus 25% treatment power. So that is really amazing. <laughs> Less patients will die. All right, staff, we need, yes, we need a nurse for sure. Uh, and maybe this one has diagnostics and treatment skills, which is really good in a pharmacy, right? She is motivated, positive, has never used the calendar the way they'd hope to. <laughs> I feel ya. <laughs> All right, we need a, a little bit of a waiting area over here. Like this. And of course they also need uh, drinks and snacks, maybe over here. Drinks, salty snacks. And a bin in between. There we go. Now, let's make it a bit nicer. Oh, isn't that amazing? We, we need to make the hallway a bit nicer as well. There we go. And maybe right over here. Yes, that looks nice. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit boring over here though. <laughs> Maybe our news agent needs a plant as well. You're listening to Harrison Wolf. Yes. Lone voice of reason, ready to spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears, and get ready to find out what's really going on. But first. Here are some people Oops. playing musical instruments. Yes, this is so nice. Okay, and of course they need to uh, they need to know what they're up for. So let's give them a leaflet stand as well. All right, this looks nice. We might need another nurse because we now have a ward, which will will fill up very soon, and uh, also a pharmacy. Mm, so oh, no, that's not a good sound. <laughs> Unmotivated. Nope. Motivate. Motivated. Yes. Ah, oh, our first death. <laughs> no. Why? It was 91% chance of success. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. That was a really high rate, to be honest. Anyway. Great. The machine upgrade is complete. Make sure we've got a, a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep our precious machine safe. Bungle Technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry patients, uh, sorry, psychiatry patients, and have given us access to one of their machines, the Extractor Pan. This high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Look out for people in need of this. <laughs> you know, in case you see people with pans on their head walking around, which you will actually see in this hospital. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technology. Buying another plot of land nearby will give us more space to develop the hospital. All right. Own two buildings is a objective. Um, we actually can. We have a plot over here. We have a plot over here. And we have a little plot over here. But that's actually a playground. And uh, this one doesn't seem to be used for anything. So I'm going to buy this one. Uh, it takes 15 days to actually build a hospital there. Um, so let's wait there and then that plot might actually be our treatment facility and then in this one we will focus more on diagnosis all right let's see our mail because I keep forgetting that <laughs> we can construct new hospital buildings by purchasing plots of land nearby yes I just did that Ooh, we have a new illness discovered bogwarts a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets it ca wait not our toilets, right? <laughs> it can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs, carefully prepared in the pharmacy. Or with witchcraft. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Why? Why? You just said we can also cure it with witchcraft. If you can, if you have the choice to cure something with either medicine or witchcraft, you always choose witchcraft, right? <laughs> Why choose medication? Anyway. Uh, machines can be upgraded. Yes, we did that also. Okay. Um, 
get rid of this ghost, please. <laughs> Thank you. This looks actually quite nice. I don't see anything that we need desperately. Um, our assistant is on a break, it seems. Uh, I might actually need another one because the queue is getting quite long. And <laughs> here we are. The patients with a pen on their head. <laughs> um, so that's why we need the extractor pen for. Where is our assistant? And then another thing. And I say one thing. Mm, wait. Another Elvish. Thing. Where are you, Elvish? You're now hypnotized too. Are you? Ah, you're going back to the job. I think. Are, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no. Still on a break. No, no, he's he's going back. Okay, we are going to deal with this uh, amazingly long queue now. <laughs> All right, um, so that means that we need um, a room for the extractor pan now. Pan's lab. It is. We can build that right over here. Have the door over here. All right, um, I'm not really sure where the patient sits and where the doctor stands. Let's put it like this and we can always change it. If it's the wrong way around. Mm. There we go. It is a really large machine. Uh, what what kind of posters does one put in a in this uh, in this kind of room? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a food pyramid poster, since they probably got this uh, disease while cooking. So <laughs> let's uh, let's show them the right way to do things with food, right? <laughs> so it will not happen again in the future. All right, with prestige level three, that's uh, that's pretty great. I don't know about you, says Pen Blizzard, but I find the relentless a stream of death somewhat depressing. Wait, what? I think there was only one death, if I'm not mistaken, but... Hmm, do you think we could go a few months without any fatalities? I am not sure, to be honest, but let's try. Okay, we discovered Porter's Head. Porter's Head affects both body and mind. Once thought to be caused by, pro uh, by proximity to see to sea air is now known to be chiefly caused by living in Porter's Head. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. All right. Amazing. Let's build a few benches over here as well. And uh, maybe we should see if... Well, we do have a doctor who is good in treatment, right? So let's make sure that that is our only doctor working in Pan's lab. There you go. You cannot work there. <laughs> I think Vladimir, this is Vladimir. Yes, I'm sorry Vladimir, but um, your treatment skill is 40%, so no, you can definitely not work there. Um, Dr. Brendan has a treatment skill of 70, which is so much better. Uh, let's see if there is another doctor who is good, though. Ooh, we have um, a nurse who is very good at pharmacy management. Sounds taller on the phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, they are both nice, actually. Likes to argue. Believes they have an understanding with ducks. And this one has green fingers, so they will water their own plants, basically. Mm, no, I will hire you and put you in the pharmacy. I will put you in the ward. And I will make sure that the ward can have two nurses working there. Because we have quite a lot of beds over there. Alright. Um, but I actually wanted the doctor. <laughs> Ooh, we have a, a very good psychiatrist over here. High energy, terribly dull. <laughs> Makes people bored. Hmm. <laughs> but let's... Uh, or maybe this one. Charming. General practice skills. But it's really good to have another psychiatrist, I think. Uh, Tripodal has treatment skills, but 
He's only a junior doctor. This one is already a bit better, so... Yes. Let's put you there and uh, let's make sure that you cannot work in a treatment facilities. Um, there we go. Because you're not really good at it, I think. 40%, yes. <laughs> so maybe we will make Brendan our um, treatment doctor right now. I know he is also very good at diagnosis, but it will have to do for now. All right. Also, where are you, Brendan? Uh, you should actually go to the GP's office. Over there. And you are going to... You are Brendan, right? <laughs> I didn't check. Yes, you are. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see. <laughs> There's three people already with a pan on their head. Let's see how this thing works. Okay, so we have put it the, the right way around, I think. Although, if you want to do it quicker, maybe... Ooh, okay. <laughs> that, that doesn't really seem uh, like, it, like it's ethical, I'd say. <laughs> she is happy, though. And cured. I thought that was going wrong completely, but um, apparently this is the way. Um, this is how you cure Pandemic. Where are you going? You you should go back immediately. Where are you going? Do you need a break? Oh, he needs a break. Okay. Uh, well, I guess you two have to wait. And um, let's give you something nice. Um, so you, sh you won't get too bored. There we go. And... Uh, <laughs> I think it's good to know what happens before uh, before it happens. So let's give you some leaflets as well. So you know exactly what to expect. Although maybe in this case it's better that you don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, it uh, it seems that uh, that we, uh, we, we are going on the right track here. We don't have extremely large queues. Everything is running smoothly. And it seems that we need to build a deluxe clinic for this person over here. Um... He is counting down for something. Is he counting down for uh, for how long he wants to wait? Oh, willing to wait. 97 seconds. Okay. So we are definitely needing to build that, that room very quickly. Um, we will do that in the next episode, though. Uh, so if you like this episode, please hit the like button. And if you want to see the next episode, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I will see you in the next one and have an amazing, lovely day.